Today we are going to learn how to save seeds from heirloom tomatoes. What is an heirloom tomato? An heirloom tomato has a history of the seeds being passed down from one generation to the next within a family or community because of the tomato's value characteristics like color, taste, or shape. If you plant seeds from an heirloom tomato, you can grow the same type of yummy tomato over and over again. It's also more economical to save your own seeds rather than always having to purchase them. To save seeds from heirloom tomatoes at home, you will need an heirloom tomato, a cutting board, a clear cup or jar with a lid or plastic wrap, water, a spoon, a small dish towel or paper towel, a fine mesh strainer, and a plate or wax paper. Step 1. Find an heirloom tomato that you like and want to grow more of. You can usually find heirloom tomatoes in the grocery store in late summer and early fall, or even at your local farmer's market. Step 2. Squeeze or scoop out the seeds into a clear cup or jar. If you look closely at the seeds, you'll notice that they are encased in a jelly membrane. This membrane prevents the seeds from sprouting and needs to be removed so the seeds will grow when planted. Step 3. Add enough water to the jar to double the total volume and then secure a lid or a piece of plastic wrap over the top. It's always a good idea to label your jar with the type of tomato seeds and the date you started saving them. Step 4. Put your jar or cup in a safe place away from sunlight where it can stay for one week and not get knocked over by accident. Observe your seeds periodically throughout the week as something amazing is going to happen to them. Over the next week, a fungus called yeast will be busy eating away the jelly membrane on the seeds. What is a fungus, you ask? A fungus is a plant-like organism that does not make its own food. It must get the nutrients it needs to survive by feeding off of other things. In this case, the yeast is feeding on the jelly membrane of our seeds. If you look closely at the cup of seeds, you might observe bubbles. The bubbles are a gas called carbon dioxide. It's given off by the yeast as they digest the jelly membrane of the seeds through a process called fermentation. When there are no more bubbles, the yeast is finished eating up the jelly membrane and the clean seeds will sink to the bottom of the cup. Step 5. After one week, uncover the jar. You might notice an alcohol smell when you first open the jar. This odor is another indication that fermentation has taken place. There may also be a filmy layer at the top of the liquid. This is nothing to worry about. Simply skim off this layer with a spoon if it's there and throw it out. Step 6. Add water to the jar and stir. Stop stirring and let the seeds settle to the bottom. Pour the top half of the liquid into a sink or bowl. Repeat this process until the water is clear. Step 7. Pour the seeds and any remaining liquid into a fine mesh strainer over a sink or bowl and give the seeds a final rinse. Spread the wet seeds out on a plate or a piece of wax paper and separate out any clumps of seeds. Step 8. Let the seeds air dry for 7 to 14 days in an out of the way location, like on top of a refrigerator. Once they are dry, place the seeds in a labeled envelope in a cool, dry, dark location. Your seeds will be good for four to six years. Step nine, don't forget to plant your seeds in the springtime when the weather is warm and your tomatoes will thrive. This heirloom tomato seed saving activity comes from our third grade life cycle of a tomato lesson, but we feel that people of all ages would enjoy this fun activity.